that they're going to have to make a decision on is Joe Schobert, who was here when uh, Andrew Berry was here the yeah. first time around. There are some other uh, free agents out there. Here you see Joe Schobert, 6'1", 245, 133 tackles, a couple of sacks, four INTs, and uh, that in 2019. Made the Pro Bowl in 2017, led the, the whole league with 144 tackles, six interceptions, and uh, that's in his career, a total of seven forced fumbles. It's a pretty good resume. Oh, it is, and he's going to want to get paid. All right, here are some guys who are available. Corey Littleton, 26 years old, and uh, 134 tackles, three and a half sacks, two INTs, a couple of forced fumbles. That was in 2019. Six INTs, one defensive touchdown in his career. Let's continue to look at some other names. Blake Martinez is another one, 237 pounds, six foot two, 155 tackles, three sacks, one INT, one forced fumble. In 2019, he had at least 144 tackles in each of his last three seasons, career high of sacks with five in 2015. Let's continue on. Jamie Collins, who the Browns saw. <laughs> Collins was with New England. No came thanks. to the Browns and then went back to New England. You don't want him? No. 6'3", 255, 80 tackles, seven sacks, three INTs in uh, 2019, made the Pro Bowl in 2015. 10 INTs, 16 forced fumbles. That's in his career. I... Listen, we, we we don't need uh, Jamie Collins 2.0 in Cleveland. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Should the Browns re-sign Joe Schobert or should they move him on and go after somebody else? They absolutely should. But having said that, is it is the price tag going to be too rich for the the Browns' blood? And this is where you know Barry and the and, and the analytics boys have to figure out. Okay. How good you would think Schobert is an analytics darling. I mean, he doesn't right. blow you away with these sensational highlight real plays, but he does grade well consistently with the PFFs and whatnot. So you would think they would look at him favorably, but even if they do look at him favorably, are they going to want to pay him what he thinks he's yeah. worth? Well, D Man, you, you hear about these guys and they say, well, the organization likes so and so. Well, that, that's fine when you have the same organization, but because Cleveland changes so much, you have no idea what they're thinking about the, the guys who'd been here before. Correct. Correct. And, and it will be, uh, it'll be an interesting litmus test for this front office, the, uh, the Schobert, how they handle the Schobert situation.